Hey guys, welcome back uh, to Terraria with KK. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to figure out what the, my next uh, plan is. Um, you know what? I'm probably thinking about doing this part of the episode right now, uh, more associated with the lake side because I want to finally get to the other side of the lake. Maybe I'll go make a bridge. Uh, let's start with getting a bucket. I uh, delayed it for a little while, but uh, I want to see how much water can be carried with a bucket. Come on, there we go. Um, so yeah, probably while I'll do this first, I'll try to go underground and see how deep it goes, and then I'll probably uh, go uh, further on top. And we have a chandelier, well, I probably could get that. It doesn't take too much, so yeah, sure. We'll also see how that looks like. It's a little bit costly, I should say, but, yeah, and an iron chain, too. Alrighty, let's see how this chandelier looks like. Ooh, nice and spiffy. Not too shabby, if I say so myself. So now let's go and get wood and go to the lake and test our new bucket. Knowing, uh, knowing my uh, luck, I'd probably say that the bucket only takes up very little water, but I could be wrong. Maybe it could like fill up that whole bomb, because I want to see uh, if you can transport uh, long distances, or how much does it fill up. We'll see. Alrighty, we're here at the lake with a slime in the water. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So we have our bucket full of water. So let's go to that little pit there and uh, pour some water in. See what it does. Oh, that's very little, I should say. Man, that that takes forever to fill up. I, uh, you probably need at least three people with buckets to fill up that whole place. So let's see. Now I'm going to test it to see uh, how the effect looks like on a slope. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. That way we actually got a little bit of water without uh, wasting. See, as you can see, I still have water in my bucket, but some poured into the uh, pit there. Very interesting, I should say. Let's try one more time. Oh, no, I can't get it back. Oh. Let's see. Can we pick it up from here? Yep, yes we can. Alright, that's a pretty cool effect, I should say. Dropping on a slope, let's try one more time and see if we can uh, at least fill it up the last layer of it full. What the hell? Oh, jeez, that was some weird glitch or something. Ah, screw it. Ugh. I'm actually surprised that uh, the water didn't flow. Apparently, the soil somehow prevents it. <laughs> wow, did you see that? Oh, ow, ow, ow. That actually, uh, water does, if it's flowing, cause some damage, apparently. And now I'm just about to get murdered by two little pathetic slimes. Huh? Alright, let's get back to getting some wood. Or actually, nah, forget. You know what, now that I've experimented with water a little bit, um, the chandelier is nice, but it doesn't, you know, fit my design, so let's take it down. And actually, I'm going to spend the rest of this episode uh, doing a little bit of renovation, and also I will be doing uh, more work underground. So stick around, and uh, I'll cut to the next part where I'm near the bottom of the lake bed. Okay, ciao. Hey guys, I'm back to digging. Um, actually, I dug quite a long ways. It's already nighttime, as you can hear, and I'm finally at the bottom of the lake bed. Uh, well, I'm at the lake bed, that's what I should say. My grammar sucks, I swear. Well, uh, apparently there's a zombie swimming. Uh, hey dude, how's the water? Cool? Alright, keep, uh, keep drowning there. 
Actually, I don't think zombies can drown since they're already dead. Or, uh, they're not dead, they're the living dead. Ah, forget it. Uh, stupid grass. Vegetation, die! Don't worry about that copper, I'll just get it in a second. I wanna keep on going a little ways. Um, turns out that, uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, uh, by the time this episode should be up, the news should already be, you know, shown, but I'm gonna be starting a server for any of you guys to join. Uh, the info, uh, for the server should be in the description box, so feel free for any of you guys to join. Uh, make sure there are no, no haters. Uh, if you guys want me to do, you know, player versus player, so like teams versus teams, that would be cool. Uh, if you guys don't want to, that's fine. But, uh, anyways, I want to please the fans of Terraria and for you guys to, you know, have fun with me. That way we can uh, experience the fun together. I don't know if I'll be taping that, but if you guys want to tape it, go ahead. So let's get back to our house. This episode will be relatively small. Uh, I don't want to bore you with, you know, crappy mining all day. I mean, you guys could do it too. I could show a freaking video of me digging for an hour, and what would that prove? Nothing at all! So, let's see what we've got in our chest. Uh, not much. Yeah, I do sometimes, from time to time, make stupid mistakes where I make an extra furnace or something. So sue me. We're, nobody's perfect. Even though I try to be a perfectionist from time to time. I better close up that uh, that wall there in just a second. Uh, there we go. Let's get some more copper bars. Oh, and we can make a chandelier now. Very nice, very nice. What else? That's pretty much it. I always like to double check on uh, both the furnace and the uh, anvil to make sure there's nothing new I can get. So let's... Uh, do I have wood wall? Oh, I think I do. Yeah, I do. Plenty. Alright, let's fill up. Uh, I have to say that... Um, I really do like the music, it's very 8-bit, but I would, you know what, if you guys don't mind, I can uh, keep the music lower or higher, depending on uh, what you guys like to. So just leave a comment, uh, and uh, I'll turn up the volume or lower the volume down. That's pretty much it. Uh, I will be finishing up this... Uh, thing and uh, stay tuned and uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing more Terraria. Enjoy. Bye.